In this episode, we will be learning about the Python egg. Python eggs are an older distribution format for Python. The new format is called a Python wheel, which we will look at in our next video. An egg file is basically a zip file with a different extension. Python can import directly from an egg. You will need the setup tools package to work with eggs. Setup Tools is the original mainstream method of downloading and installing Python packages from PyPy and other sources via the command line, kind of like apt-get for Python, or pip for that matter. There was a fork of Setup Tools called Distribute that was eventually merged back into Setup Tools. I only mention this because you may see references to that fork if you do much reading about Python eggs outside of this video series. I'm also bringing up the egg because you'll still find the egg format occasionally on PyPy and you need to know how to interact with it. Even if it's just to upgrade that module to use the wheel format or whatever. So in this particular video we are going to look at how to create an egg. So let's actually look at how to create a setup.py using setup tools so we can create our egg. So I'm going to open something that I wrote just a little bit ago. In code and we'll go down here to test eggs. Somewhere in here. Here we go. Setup.py. Alright, so from setup tools we import setup and find packages. You'll recognize this from our previous example in the previous video, with one slight difference in that we have a find packages function call here. Now the find packages function will automatically look for any packages in the current directory and add them to your egg. So if we go back to our directory, you notice that I have a copy of our MyMath uh, folder in here, which is actually considered a package because it has the init.py in it. So if we run this in this particular folder, we should be able to create an egg. Let's give it a try. Let's open up a terminal and go to our test file. And you just type uh, python setup.py and bdist egg and hit enter. And you get a whole bunch of output. Now if we go back over here, and notice that we have some new folders in here that we didn't have before. Let's look inside dist. And here we go. Since I was using Python 2.7, we got a Python 2.7 egg. Let's go back to that terminal and change this slightly and see if we can create a Python 3 egg too. Let's run this and go back. So yes, if you have Python 3, you call it the setup.py. Since the code is similar enough, it can easily create an egg for Python 3.4 as well. So that is how you create an egg. You can uh, look at some of the other folders too. We really need to care about the disk folder because that has our egg in it. But if you need to rerun it or something, you might need to re to delete the build folder because sometimes it has extra craft in it that can interfere with building. I didn't have a problem this time, probably because I used two different Pythons, but I think I have had problems in the past. If you want to, if you want to get kind of fun, you can actually change the egg extension to zip. And if you open it up, you'll see that it's a, basically a zip file. Let's actually try that and see what happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and change the extension to zip. And then we can open it up. And it uh, looks kind of funny. I think I opened that wrong. Let's try that again. Yeah, it's doing something strange. But anyway, inside of that, you'll see that it has the MyMath folder and all of your stuff in it. So that zip folder is working correctly. I think it's unzipping is what it's doing on my pro on my computer. Most zip programs don't do that, but Mac does some crazy things sometimes. So anyway, now it's your turn. Go go ahead and go into the Python package index and find some pure Python modules to download. Then try creating some eggs using the techniques you learned in this video. If you want to install an egg, you can use easy install to do so. Uninstalling an egg is a bit tougher. You'll actually need to go to its install location and delete the folder 
and or the egg file installed as well as remove the entry from the, for the package from the easy install.pth file. So if you actually go to like uh, site packages, which I showed you in another video, it's on your path. So let's go ahead and do that real quick so you know what I'm talking about. So sys.path, most of the time your eggs will get stored in the site packages area. At least that's what happens on Windows and I assume everywhere else. So uh, when you install your egg with easy install, it'll go in there. And inside that folder, there'll be something called easy install .pth, and it'll list all the egg files that have been installed in site packages. And it's kind of a pointer to Python that, hey, there's an egg installed at this particular path. So you actually need to go in there and edit that to uninstall an egg, or at least that used to be how it worked. And the problem with easy install is that it gets updated all the time. So by the time you re see this video, maybe they'll have fixed this, but at the time that it was recorded, that was still, the, still an issue. So at this point, you should be able to create an egg, install an egg, and check out that the egg is, is created correctly by looking in at its contents. I hope you found this video insightful, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.